Hi, I'm Sarah Davies, and I've been an avid crafter for most of my life. It's actually a love of paper crafting that inspired me to start Crafters Companion when I was just 21, actually running it from my university bedroom. Since then, the company's really grown and gone from strength to strength, and I feel privileged that we were invited in the early days to become part of the Hutchander family. I absolutely love working with the team here at Hochanda because they really understand what's important. And that's that I want to be able to have the opportunity to show you things in detail, to teach you and to really inspire you. So make sure you watch out for me, Sarah Davies and Crafter's Companion on Hochanda. These essential sprays are a must for any crafter. Stick and Spray is a universal repositionable craft adhesive for use with rocker blocks. Stick Away is an adhesive residue remover that can be used on a range of surfaces. Stick and Stay is a revolutionary permanent spray adhesive designed for use in all paper crafting. To stock up, check out hochanda.com. Hello, good evening. Yes, we're live at just after eight o'clock and welcome to a brand new event here at Hachanda. It is Ready, Set, Sew. So, over the next seven days, you're going to see a lot of sewing shows, which I know is going to please an awful lot of you. One good thing I've got to tell you about is that if you're a Freedom member, every single sewing show, every item in that show will have at least 10% Freedom members discount. Some items will be more, greater discount, but a minimum of 10% discount on every single item in our sewing shows for the next week. So now's as good a time as any to join Freedom Club. Only £6.97, and that's treble eight, treble eight, your item number. Now also, if you buy anything from any of our sewing shows over the next seven days, you'll automatically, without the need of doing anything, be entered into a prize draw, where one of you, at the end of the week, will be the proud owner of all of this. This is over £700 worth of goodies from our sewing shows. Have a little look at this, because this kind of breaks it down and shows you what the prize is. Here we go. So you've got uh, loads there. You've got Gemini Builder Block Plus. You've got Craft Yourself Silly Tessie Patches Shapes. You've got Threaders Fabric Origami. Uh, you've got Sixpenny Memories. £763, 24 pence worth of goodies. All you have to do is buy something from one of our sewing shows over the next seven days, and one person will win all of that. So good luck. Uh, we'll announce the winner, obviously, at the end of the week. And we launched it earlier on today in a blaze of glory. What a busy launch show, Lizzie. Very, very busy. But I'm not surprised because lots of the ladies have already seen, oh, and gents, have seen already the bags being made. I, I kind of shared it on social media. Um, so we can, so we were, they were primed, ready to go. And do you know what? They're so fantastic. Now, the one day special, that's what we're talking about. You've got two choices, but a lot of you actually went for the bundle of both together. We'll talk about that in a second. But you've got, from Sarah, uh, this fantastic envelope option of bag dies, okay? Or your dome. Envelope is this one, dome is this one. And what these dies will make, these are your uh, multimedia dies. They will cut through fabric, they will cut through faux leather to give you bags just like this. Now, Lovely, aren't they? They are stunning. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you're getting absolute accuracy every time you cut them, Dave. So it means that, you know, even if you're a novice stitcher, you're going to get the most perfect results every time. Mm -hmm. And the great thing is, this time we're not... Can you see? We've got the little purse there as well, Dave. So they all match. I, I love it that you've got the little one to match as well. And in actual fact, when this was made, even the lining is the same as well. I think that's adorable. Uh, I do too. really is. So that could pop inside there. Mm -hmm. That could be a little little gift on its own it could have a little compact mirror in it could have your lippy in there it could have your loose change in there so you've got a choice you can either go for the envelope which is this one or you can go for the dome which is this one uh, the dome was the one i believe that was in the lead out of the two but a lot of you are going for the two together so yes. if you want the dome let me give you details of that as well so it's the same item number 29.98 saves you seven pounds off the price uh, and 30 percent of that went in the launch show how much of the envelope went in the in the first show 
20% went of the envelope, 30% went of the dome, and you're getting a freedom discount look of £10 off the price. Uh, I said to you, every single thing in our sewing shows will have a freedom discount, at least 10%, sometimes even more. Mm. You're getting a £10 discount if you're a freedom member of this. If you want to go for the both, you can do that. Now, this is where it gets really exciting because most of you, not all of you, but most of you, opted for going for both of them. 50% of the entire one-day special stock went in the launch show at 6 o'clock mm, this evening. So you right. get both. And you're going to get a freedom discount on this as well. So 56.96 tumbles down if you're a Freedom member to 51.26. So you're getting both of the savings for the one-day specials plus a freedom discount on top of that. And... And it's on Flexi as well. So even mm. though it's not even sixty pounds, it's twenty five sixty three today, twenty five sixty three in four weeks' time. And uh, do you know what? I think we're all winning. I really do. Everyone, yeah. Because the thing is, I knew how popular these would be because they again, once again, we've got those beautiful multimedia dies that are gonna do our multiple cuts if we want. If, if we want. We don't have to do the multiple cuts no. if we don't want to. Now uh, firstly I just want to say Sarah really apologizes for not being in her herself here. She had another engagement, but she's coming in at the weekend. So right. we'll see them again with Sarah. Now, Sarah has made all of these bags up. In actual fact, she really had me working real hard one day because I thought we'd finished working. And she said, no, 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 I want to make one of these. I want to make one of, right. one of these. OK, so you, I, I, met, I put her to task. I said, right, you're going to make one in faux leather mm -hmm. like this because mm -hmm. uh, it was getting late in the day. And she said, no problem. And she did. And she made the most gorgeous bag out of the vanilla faux leather, which is gorgeous. And once this is gone, it's gone. It's Sarah's oh, yes. signature, so it's only a, a, a here for a limited time. Uh, and the stock is going so fast. It's a case of, is it going to go before 6 p.m. tomorrow? I think the answer is going to be definitely yes, the way yes, it's going at the moment. So, so if you want to go for the big bundle, that's the one that's most vulnerable. 50% went in the launch show. And you can then make, of course, large and small of each of these designs. The envelope, which is that one there. And then the dome, which is this one here. There's the large and there's the small. Really cute. And yeah, one will go in the other beautifully. 5126 is your combined price price, Freedom, and it's also on Flexi. So Freedom Flexi means you can spread the Freedom price into two payments as well. Just £26 and pence today, and the same in four weeks' time. Okay, we'll give you a demo on that soon, yes, won't we? Yes, yes, okay. absolutely. But another very popular item in the show uh, is this, the Fat Quarters and the Metal Charms as well together. Mm. This has also got a Freedom discount price on it as well, so fill your boots, just take advantage of this extra yeah, discount. Brand new fabrics? Brand new fabrics, and do you know what, I'm going to be really, really naughty, I'm going to open this up. Why not? I am, because we need to see the fabrics, we really haven't seen them in great detail, so can you be a washing line today? I will be your day? washing line any day of the week. <laughs> there we go, so there you have the pretty, pretty one, it's yep. all floral. Then you have like this um, coral colour and it has like um, a clamshell design on it, like a little running stitch. Oh yeah. Then you've got the gorgeous green floral motif here. That's absolutely beautiful as well. Now any one of these could be made up into a bag or any one of these could be a lining. You might decide to go for the faux leather or the PVC mm -hmm. and any one of these fabrics could be a lining. Now with the small purse you're going to be able to make four out of this fabric. Right. So you'll be able to make four purses out of one piece of this fat quarter fabric. So there is the clamshell in the green. Gorgeous. And lastly, the one that matches my PVC apron is the fabric, the complementary fabric. There we go. Have I got one I can put on? Yeah, yeah, yes, I have. Ooh. I'll find you one. Oh, there thanks. We go. Under the counter. Could do with a new penny. <laughs> <laughs> the mess I'm making, especially when I'm eating for dinner. Uh, 14.98 is the fat quarters, okay? 14 pounds really 98 lovely. pence, and you're going to get also, as well as that, these fantastic metal and charms as well. And I've got cards um, somewhere. I've got cards with um, the, some of the pieces on. There's a little one here. I'll just grab, grab it, there and it's just got one little piece on. It's not even, um, you know, we haven't really used a lot. It's just, and Sandra made this, and look at that little button just popped in there. Oh, cute. Yeah, and all of us, obviously these are designs that may or may not be coming up at the weekend with Sarah. Which probably means they will be. <laughs> okay, but if you want this, uh, the fat quarters and these little charms approaching 30% of this went in the uh, first show, all right? Now, if you look behind us, there's a quilt, there's behind a quilt you. Yeah. that's actually got the fat quarters um, Isn't that gorgeous? put into the quilt, which is rather lovely. It's very, very vintagey, florally, Cathy sort of fabric, mm. isn't it? it? Is. Yes, yes, I know what you mean. <laughs> and they all tone beautiful, beautifully together. So if you get all of these fabrics, that's a metre and a half, you think of all the different things you'll be able to do with it. Mm. Gorgeous. £13.48 pence, and they're yours if you're a Freedom member. And if you're not, join to take advantage, of course, of all these discounted prices. And now, moving along, we've got some thread. Now, bearing in mind 
Sarah and all the team at Crafters Companion are very, very clever at making sure that everything coordinates very well. So all the colours you'll have seen in those fat quarters, you'll see in these threads just here. So the So Lovely thread box is £15.99, but there's going to be a freedom discount, which will be, there it is, £12.79. Brilliant discount. But look at these colours, perfect match. You see, you've got quarters. 900 metres. Because, wow. you know, we, we, every time we do a matching set of threads, which is always sort of incredibly popular, you get 150 yards, or is it 150 metres per, per reel, and then you've got 900 metres altogether. So it really is yes, good meters. value. Yeah. Great. So that's nearly it's a kilometre. Yeah, and it's cotton, mm -hmm. so which means that you can do your top stitching with these, you can do your quilting with these. Um, I wouldn't use them for your regular stitching. I would save them for best. Okay. And 20% yeah. of that went in the launch show earlier as well. £12.79 for Freedom members. Uh, the next thing that we're about to show you, over 40% of these dies went in the earlier show mm. as well. Uh, now these are uh, the Rick Rack and Decorative Ribbons. Over 60% went in the launch show. So these may not be around for too many shows tomorrow. Fourteen ninety eight. that's a £3 saving, but remember Freedom members get an even better discount. So that will be £13.48 for these. Are these, again, multimedia? These are multimedia. If you ever see a bronze-coloured die from us, it's a multimedia die. Oh, right, That's okay. the clue. Right. And so it means that they're deeper than other regular dies, which means you can cut multiple, multiple layers. In this instance, you can actually fold the fabric to, to enable you to create a piece of ribbon, which is as long as you want it to be. Right. Um, I mean, you're only, you're only being stopped by the amount of layers that you're going to be cutting. Um, so, you know, if you're going to put it across a bag, like this little one here maybe you only want to fold it in half and mm -hmm. that would be wide enough to do that to that ribbon so of course you've got your faux leather you've got your glitter fabric even um, your felts your regular fabric just like our fat quarters if you stabilize them with our fabric stabilizer then they're going to cut the most intricate details even though it's just your regular fabric so let me just show you on these dies can you see that there's no cutting edge at the end so if you want that pattern to repeat and continue, you can do. So it's not cutting it out. So you can make it as long as you like. Yeah, can't. absolutely. It's, it's, you're limited by the amount of folds that you can do and, and also the, the length you're going to cut and also the, the amount of cuts that you can make with your Gemini. We know, let's say, eight to ten layers is perfectly normal quilting cotton. So that's the amount you can actually cut if you can fold them all, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's down to that. With the faux leather, you could probably cut at least three or four layers if you wanted to make a Continuous strip. Okay, really well, thirteen pound forty-eight the price if you're a freedom member. Nearly, uh, nearly seventy percent of those dies has gone. Remember, they are multimedia, so they will cut through multiple layers mm. of fabric in one go and lots of other materials. Well, they're, they're great for paper crafting. That's that's the joy of these dies is that you know you can do your paper crafting, you can do your your sewing or incorporate them into your sewing, and you'll make something really unique and, and beautiful. Great. Okay, so that's available right now, but will it be available tomorrow? This is the big question. We will have lots of repeat shows through the night tonight as well so what will be left with by nine o'clock in the morning not quite sure okay now next we've got the zips on a roll everybody loves zips on a roll uh, this is again from Sarah's signature these collection these are very different Dave these wow. are chunky zips okay so that's the first thing I want to say these are chunky they're beautiful quality and um, also they are they come in pairs and the zip sliders and the zips are the opposite to the fabric of the zip mm -hmm. <laughs> Does that that's, make why sense? that's why they're so funky. Look, <laughs> that does make sense. So the fabric of the zip is pink, but the zip is the actual teeth is the blue, yep. and the zip slider is the blue. So they're kind of each set is the opposite to each other, which really makes them quirky and pretty and well, unusual. You get two and a half meters. It, normally we do five, but yep. this time because they're chunky, we're thinking you don't want to do a great long length right. because it's not like a domestic zip you're putting in. This is a decorative zip. Well, the thing so is, two and a half meters, ten sliders still. The thing is, um, zips these days are there to be noticed yes. rather than covered up. Yes. They're a fashion statement. They're so why not are. make a fashion statement out of the colour? They're sense. really lovely, aren't they? Yeah, they're they? great. I uh, think they're such a great example. These have been very popular as well. Uh, Twenty-one ninety-eight the price, but remember, if you are a Freedom member, Freedom member price. 
is nineteen pounds seventy eight pence and forty percent of this went as well. And look at these little brooches oh, you can make so out of a zip. Yeah, and that's just one half of the zip. So you could you know you're doubling up all the time, aren't you? Absolutely. So you, you just gotta think outside of the box. And we had a card. Now where does here it is. We've even done a piece of this is Sandra again. Thank you, Sandra. Um, she's made the most beautiful cards incorporating not only the card stock and all the other elements of the paper crafting side of this collection, but look, she's put the zip in there as well and the cross stitch, all of that other Love elements it. are coming up at the weekend, but the zip is what you're looking at now. 910818 then for funky zips on a roll. Yeah. Uh, then we've also got ever popular the faux leather. We can never get uh, enough new. of this. Brand new colours. Yeah, brand new. Olive and caramel. Yes, absolutely <laughs> delicious. And you'll see samples made with these faux leathers and it's, it's always the same quality, that buttery, buttery soft leather. Stitch is like a dream. We'll stitch some of this later so you can see. Um, and again, new colours to go with the collection so everything matches. Now, with just me standing there with my PVC apron on, you can <laughs> see how everything works it together. Does. Yeah. Now, we're looking at 50 centimetres by 65 per sheet. Uh, and again, you've got a special reduced price on that of 12 three pound off. Plus, you get another discount for being in the Freedom Club, taking it down to... There we go. 11.68. That's delivered. That's amazing, no P and P to find either. For two of those, yeah. brand new. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you get both. You don't choose. You get both. Eight nine four six seven five. Your item number there. Now moving on. This is an option. So you can either go for your teal in the faux leather, or your country cottage PVC fabric. So you get both together. Yeah. You do get both. They're not an option. Okay. You do get both together. So there's the PVC and there's the teal faux leather. And then the other one is the vanilla and the bouquet. So basically, you're getting either that one or that one. You choose between the mm, two. Okay, you do really get lovely. both of those and both or both of those. So my favourite is the vanilla. I have to right. say that because it's just it. Not only does it feel buttery soft, it looks it looks it as well. It looks like clotted cream and it, it really is a very rich, classy colour. It goes with everything else in the collection beautifully. Got the most amazing bag here made out of that faux leather with just regular fabric as the gussets. Mm -hmm. And actually, I, can't, I don't know who made it, so I do apologise, but we have fussy cutted the... fussy cutted? Pussy cut <laughs> the roses out of the fabric and actually appliqued them onto the pocket there, which is amazing, and that's using the PVC. It's good looking, isn't it? Yeah, really it's good really looking. super. Now, so, also, of course, brand new. Um, Lizzie's Pinny yeah. is made from this as well. This is the white clean material, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So it is really, really strong, the PVC fabric, and you get the faux leather as well. This had 50% gone in the launch show, so very, very popular if you want that one. Uh, not quite as many people went for this, but it still was very popular. The vanilla faux leather and the floral bouquet, over 20% of that went. So this is the PVC, so that's pretty. the faux leather. There we yeah, go. Yeah, really lovely. And, and the thing is, because you're getting those two different types of fabrics, it really is interesting because if you've never stitched this before, this is the perfect time to get PVC and, and faux leather together mm -hmm. and just try, just try. And if you think about it, those little purses in the collection, you could, oh, I don't know how many you could make, probably about 20 of those out of those fabrics. Mm -hmm. And that, that's, that's money making, isn't oh, it? Totally. That could be your stall, that could be, yeah. you could you put gifts in make. there, it could be, you know, there's just so many things you're going to be able to do. Okay, take a little look at the website then, because we've got loads of other things as well and loads to look out for over this week. Remember, if you buy anything, that will automatically be put into the drawer uh, for that fantastic gift bundle worth £763, roughly. Uh, you could be the winner of that at the end of the event, and it's the launch tonight, and it lasts seven days, okay? And all of these other wonderful freedom discounts that you've got there as well. You've got So Inspired, you've got, of course, the 24-piece fabric strip roll there as well. The Gemini stitch is there at £129.99, all there. It's 116.99 actually if you're a Freedom member. What? So if you've been promising yourself, I'm joking. No, and that was only launched <laughs> last week. You? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Freedom price 116.99. Wow, that's fantastic! What a great time to get it. And why not treat yourself to brand new scissors? Brand new scissors that we have here now. The the scissors are going so fast. What stock have we got left of the scissors? Over 80% gone, so less than 20% remain. Wow. I can't believe this price. We were teasing you about these a week or two ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid I was. So everybody knew they were coming, but look at them. And look, you know what? If I could, I'd keep them in the package because they look gorgeous. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's shallow. 11.99. <laughs> it's incredible.
yep. and brand new you know limited edition we've got the rose handles as well and they are quite unique because I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna actually put these on the side now look at that profile now I've never seen that in scissors before no. where they're so it's I would say that's not well maybe it's a quarter of an inch but that's really narrow and, and you'd you, think that'd be uncomfortable it absolutely is not they fit beautifully you gave hand. me these last week to hold and to, to hold up to the camera to show everybody they were coming I thought well, about heavy, 25 either. pound 30 pound a yes. pair Yes. That's what I thought in my mind. I had no idea they were going to be this, this price. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Eleven ninety nine. And they're, they're weighty as well, so you know you're getting quality. This, you know, this isn't hollow no. metal. They're not been sort of made um, to be um, less affordable. It's just that this is how they're made: solid and really robust. They're going to. They're going to do what they're supposed to do and cut fabric beautifully. Well, you know that tomorrow in the shows that Lizzie's going to have, they're not going to be there. So order them before you go to bed tonight. Um, even on the repeat show, if you try and phone through and they've sold out, all I can do is apologise. But we're live at the moment at uh, 20 past 8 on Monday night. Get them. They're in stock at the moment. Right. OK. I need to show everybody the piece. I know I did this at six o'clock, but I do need to show everybody all the pieces that you get for the bags. Now, these are actually duplicated for the purses as well. Mm -hmm. So what you're seeing now is what you'll see in the purses too. And it's all the variations of what you can make with these dies. Can I ask you something? Do they intermingle? Can you cross That's them over? That's exactly what we're going to see. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you can use the envelope and the dome together? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So, the only thing now, the only thing that I haven't tested out yet, this is the gusset for the big bag for the dome, and you can see it's really wide. Mm. It's a really nice chunky bag. Nice chunky bottom day, that's Good. what we need. Um, now, I've, I don't know yet, but it could go round the envelope bag. I'm going to test it out tomorrow. So, it, I'm saying at the moment, this is this could go over both bags as well, okay. and I will check it out for you and let you know. But, if we look at the components of the dome clutch bag, for instance, so we start off with this shape here, which is a really lovely round shape. Now, can you just imagine that as it is with just a zip across there as a cosmetic bag mm, or a toilet yeah. toiletry bag for, you, for your man in your life? But then you can add in the actual flaps that come with it. So that's your biggest one there. And you can see you've got your quarter of an inch seam allowance there, quarter of an inch there. So it's pretty much well close up to the edge there. You can visualize that. You can see how that works. Mm -hmm. However, in this set, you actually get two. So you can go down a size and have a smaller one, which means that what you can do is you can bring those side pieces in there and actually pop a stud those together to create a different look. Or, so what I did earlier is that you could put a little pleat in the front here, just like that, and I would just pin that ready to sew. Right. And then I would put that little one over the top, and that makes a completely different bag. Mm. Now, that's just the one set. So, if we were then to bring in the components from the other set, this is the flap from the envelope bag. That works. Look how gorgeous yeah, that is. Yeah, that does work. Yep. And then if you bring in the envelope, this is just a little bit wide. I would trim that back. But all you need to do is follow the line of your bag. And hey, presto, you've got a different bag completely. Are you and everyone at, at HQ OK with people making these and selling them? Oh, yes, please. Right. That would please me no end. Because you know what? It's normally bag stalls, isn't it, at fairs that mm. sell out the first. That and baking stalls. Yeah. And I'll tell you what I've, I suggested. This is my suggestion to everybody. If that's what you're going to do, if that's what you'd like to do, is get a piece of fabric, a big, big piece of fabric, and think of all the different variations. Think about that pleating in the front, the different shapes, different sizes, mix them all together, and make every single bag as a sample in the same fabric. Now, Dave, then what that means is, people aren't going to look at the fabric and say, oh, I like that bag because I like that fabric. Mm. They're going to look at the style that you've designed mm. and say, oh, I love that design. I'll have that in this fabric mm. or whatever fabric it is that they might want to choose from you. But it, what it means is that you're kind of giving everybody a blank canvas. It's like giving everybody a toile to choose from. And, and you've created that. Mm. It's, it's not down and to if us. If you've got a swatch of fabrics that you've actually got in your stash and you take that maybe to work to show to your colleagues, you can make this bag out of whichever yeah. choose. Yeah, bespoke service. Yeah. How impressive you, is that? You can take photographs of every diff yeah. different style that you can make. Um, and gosh, the, wor the world's your oyster. And I have to say, don't forget that every single one of these shapes can be made wider and longer. Oh, right. Just by folding your fabric or placing the die in a certain way, and I'll go through that, um, and folding it again here, and you can make them 
this big if you want to. Right, okay. So there's lots of different ways. So if we quickly go back to the envelope bag, so I'll put that on my, my little counter here. So that's this, this, um, the shape of the envelope bag. It's actually a really lovely shape. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to, you could just keep it like that, pop a zip in the top and you've got a cosmetics bag and that's how it looks, with a fancy zip of course. Well, that could be a, a pen bag for school or for craft classes. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. And if you want to, you could not have the fold, you know, you could, you could have your fabric cut a little bit smaller and make it a little bit more shallow if I love, you want to. I love to. Hanging, having the funky zip on the top Isn't as well. Isn't it great? Yeah. It really is Seeing great. it actually in situ makes you realise how, how cool they are. Yeah, they it? are. They're really, really trendy. And I love it that they all match the fabric yeah. beautifully. Yeah, they do. It really is. So if you want your funky yeah. zips, they match the fabrics in the show as well. They're on the bottom of the screen. Twenty-one ninety-eight, but they're under £20 if you're a Freedom member. And you're going to get the pink fizz and the peaches and cream as well. Really funky, really different. We ought to open these up. I'll tell you what, while I'm showing everybody, these bags, Dave. Can open you open option. those up? Because we need to show everybody. Right, so the envelope bag, so that's our shape, and obviously you can make it smaller, bigger, whatever you like. But we start adding all the components. So this is what comes with it, and obviously that's how it gets its envelope name. Then, of course, like I said, every single bag and purse has two different sizes. So you could go for that shape instead. And that, I think that's really nice. It sort of mirrors it, makes it quite stylish. And then we can bring in the flaps from the other bag set, so we have a little one like that. But look, again, I can crease this, I can put a little pleat in it, a little inverted pleat, bring it down, bring my flap over there, and look, that's the sort of bag I could be making. Nice. I could, or I could gather it, you know, it, or I could pleat it, you know, all the way along. It's entirely up to you. And then this is the the larger one that comes with the, the dome clutch. So now you can see all the different variations. And like I said, by folding the fabric in a different way, so for instance, we would have folded this, popped the die on top, and that's what we have cut. But if I had put my fold, let's say here, mm -hmm. And but still cut that and hand cut that last little bit. This would be a lot, lot bigger. It would be, it would go to edge to edge mm -hmm. if I want it to. So actually, the variations I would say are pretty much endless. Well, I've taken the zips out of the packaging as well just to show you. And this is what Lizzie was talking about in, in that the actual zip and the fabric around the zip are mm. contrasting, they're opposites. And I think they're so clever and so cool. So you've got your pink and your blue, and your blue and your pink. So. Um, and then your peaches and your cream, and your cream and your peaches. So very unusual. Aren't like they gorgeous? Yeah. And if you can you put them on here, Dave? Yeah. Because then we can see how they look. <laughs> just, Perfect match. They just are super. And even if you just stitch them on as a piece of decoration, why not? Mm. It doesn't have to be functional, but they are so super pretty. And when you start thinking about the faux leathers, we've got the caramel faux leather, and that's the caramel there. We've got the um, teal, which is a lighter tone of the teal just here. Um, you've got the vanilla, which would go very well with this gorgeous um, yellow there. So everything has really been thought through and really worked. And like I say, you've got the 10 sliders, as we normally do, and you've got two and a half meters of zippage, because the, these are different. These are very, very chunky. If I bring that in. Well, as, as um, with anything crafters companion see. it's been thought through yeah. thoroughly everything matches everything coordinates that's what i love about it, everything so much um okay so if you want to go for the zips they're on the screen if you would like to go for the uh, fat quarters or if you want to go for the one day special which is absolutely flying at the moment you're going to get of course either the envelope or the dome in the bag dies and they are remember multimedia dies so they're designed to kind of cut through virtually anything within reason including leather faux leather including fabric and cardstock as well it will do that but multiple layers because they're obviously deeper dies so you're going to get the large and you get the small in both uh, but then you choose whether you want to go for the envelope or whether you want to go for the dome or if you go for both of them you'll get both savings plus you also get an extra discount with freedom membership mm, as well so fantastic here they all are look if i just show them to you these are the dies that you can go for they are the one day special so here we go there we go this one is the that's the dome that's the dome one so you get both large and small there's the envelope and again you get large and small choose between the two but if you do go for both remember you'll get both of those savings so you'll get the two one day special savings and we'll show it to you as well so you can see exactly if you do go for both and they will work together beautifully well there we go look 14 dies in total for 56.96 and if you're a freedom member you get a further 10 percent off that price as well okay so that is the envelope that is the dome either or one day special both together 
double saving because you get both the savings off the one day specials 5126 with your freedom discount for both of them and that is also on flexi as well so you can spread the cost into two payments just over 25 pounds this month and 25 pounds next month 2563 there we go and that's a delivered price you too could be making bags like this this is the envelope one and bags like this which is the dome and you get the little dilly one as well as the dies to do the large one over 50 percent of the big stock has gone of the two sets together okay individually there's slightly more availability but the big bundle both options four different bags you can make 56 or 5126 is the freedom price and that's a delivered price but you have got flexi on that as well okay six double four five oh seven is your item number now don't forget of course about the scissors that are in the show today they are ridiculously priced what's the update we're approaching limiting, limited stock now on these fabric scissors. They are only 14 99 but Freedom members pay only 11 99 so you're getting £3 off for those. And they are just, they'll defy belief. When you take them out of the box and hold them and use them, you'll think, oh, you paid 11 99 for these. <laughs> and no P&P either. They've got a good weight to them. They're in rose gold, those handles, rose gold effect, and they're stainless steel blades. 017004, grab them while we've got them, because they're not going to be around tomorrow, I don't think. And those multimedia dies as well. These ones with the rickrack and all of that, nearly 80% of this has now gone as well. When you're wanting to have special effects on your bags, these are the dies that will do it. And you can keep on cutting because they don't have cutting edges on the end. So you can make that strip as long as you like in all those different patterns. 13.48 for those. That's a crazy price actually. Really good value. 129161. Excellent. Back with Lizzie. So I just thought I'd do a little cut. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you to see. I've actually cut my pieces ready for my next little demo, but I just have to show you how beautifully these cut. Because you may not think they're any good for the price, but they are. <laughs> yes, they absolutely are. So, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> so you can see, look, they're, up, there's, they're fit for fit fit for purpose that's Absolutely. what I'm trying to say and obviously they'll do multiple layers as well and they cut right to the tip so no bother that's at all satisfying and, sound. yeah and and oh dear I'm wasting my fabric oh don't do any more so um so look even if you wanted to cut just that little if you know you know when you're going around corners and you need to just snip that little piece yeah. then it, it will it'll cut right to the end so you know what they're scissors, that's what they're supposed to do. You've but got we love though, them. You? They are precision. You can't even see where I've cut. It's so fine. And of course, it's multiple layers. Of course, you can do multiple layers. And they, they have that crunch mm -hmm. that scissors should have. So, great, great demo because you can hardly see anything. But look, that's well, super, super. Live cut. at half past eight, we are limited stock. They're not going to make it into tomorrow's shows <laughs> the way we're going at the moment. And they may not even make it to repeat shows. So, sorry if you miss out. But they are still there live at 8 30. If you want them, grab them. Right. Now then, earlier at six o'clock I said, don't forget that the little purses can be cut in one pass. Yeah. So I'm just going to prove it. Now, what I would normally do, don't forget, look, I'm twisting my plates over, twist and turn. Your metal plate will get scarred. It, that's what, that's what it's there for. <laughs> <laughs> it's a workhorse. It's going to do it. I would always suggest, and Sarah will say exactly the same, if you're paper, uh, paper crafting, get a spare set of plates. Mm -hmm. If you're fabric crafting, stick to your fabric crafting plates right. um, because they don't go together right. at all. So that's just my piece of advice. So I've cut all my bits out. Now, hmm, I want to show you this. This, <laughs> this is half actually no it's a quarter of the gusset so you remember that gusset I showed you before this is for the purse so let me show you the difference so right so, oh, wow. okay now the thing is what you do with your fabric whichever whether it's the small or the large you fold it your fabric in half and then you fold it into quarters okay like yeah. that and you cut all four layers at the same time and at the top of the die or bottom of the die whichever way you look at it this piece here that little piece there doesn't have a cutting edge so you're you're actually seeing it in the, the right way <clears throat> so the top edge does not have a cutting edge can you see mm -hmm. that's better um, so that's what you put over the fold of your fabric I'm going to demonstrate that now but I'm going to show you two different ways because this is really interesting <laughs> because to cut a piece of fabric like that that's quite a big piece it Fat quarter is perfectly mm. fine. That's quite a big piece. You might be using scraps. So what do you do? So I'm going to show you. So with all our bits of fabric here, here we go. 
So this is the piece I've cut ready, two pieces, lining and main piece. Now they, they would be stabilised, but you can still cut all the layers at the same time. Okay. I'm just going to fold them in, let me think, let me think, half and half. Here we go. So all I'm going to do, I've got to, I've just got to think this through, is, because I'm thinking that you might have a small piece. So I want to cut this, ah, oh, this is, now, now I'm thinking properly. Um, I want to cut this, so I... I'm only so so this would be let me let me do this the right way and then I know what I'm talking about I'm going to do a long piece like this and you might want to do two pieces so I'm just hoping I've got enough fabric here to show you this let's just do this I'm gonna I'm gonna do fingers crossed here ladies and gents because I'm should have done this before the show. So, for instance, you haven't got that long piece. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. And you, but you still need to do that gusset. So, what I would suggest you do is cut your fabric, but cut it about a quarter of an inch longer, mm -hmm. which means that you, you've then got a seam. So, up here, those two pieces, because that's not folded. That's not folded. That's two little pieces. Right. But you can still make the gusset as long as you leave about a quarter of an inch at the, at the top there. So if I fold this in half, sometimes it's easier for me to do it than try to explain, to be fair. I'm not very good at explaining. You're not doing a bad job from where <laughs> for where I'm standing. For my job. I should <laughs> know, shouldn't I? So look, I'm going to place my die with the piece that's... You, we know that piece is not going to cut. So I'm placing it. I'm going to put it down here so I get all the dies on. I'm going to place it there. And th at the bottom, I want that to cut. So don't forget, ladies and gents, you put your low-tack tape on the die and the waist, OK? Mm -hmm. Just the die and the waist. Now, I've, I'm only going to cut the um, one of the pieces here. Now, there are full step-by-step um, -step instructions, of course, on the back of the packaging as well. So uh, you, oh, are, yes. you are having your hand held every step of the way. So it, oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So with the this is the, this would be the lining. So I'm just popping that on there. Now, ideally, you would be doing each layer separately. So I've folded the two pieces together um, at the same time, you know, together as one piece. But actually, you would have them as two separate pieces. So what I would do is I'd fold one, pop it down. I'd fold the second one and pop it down. You wouldn't put the two together, then fold, because it can make a difference. Right. Um, and that's something that I've always said about the dies. So in actual fact, if I get myself sorted, that's going to go over the top of there. So hopefully all those layers are now pretty much in line. Mm -hmm. So that's our bag, back and front and lining. This is the, the flap, back and front as well. And that's on there too. Now I know I'm only cutting one layer of that. That's because I cut it. So I'll cut another one to do the other part. But that is now one whole purse ready to cut. Okay, in one so, pass. So one pass. So that's all, you know, 18 seconds and that's all been done. So then it's just a case of stitching, <laughs> which is the nice part. Also, by the way, if you're in the market for a new Gemini, if these dies are making you think, do you know what, I want to make these bags, and I haven't really got a machine that's strong enough to do that. Um, these will work in any machine, um, but the Gemini is just the perfect match for them, isn't it? Well, it really is. And it's um, on the website if you want to find yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's, it's such, a, such a workhorse. Now, what I'm going to do is, let me just get those out of the way. So, take my tape off, which from low tack becomes super sticky. <laughs> And if you haven't quite got that die to the edge, which I haven't, you just snip if necessary. And then instead of having the fold here, which you would if you fold them into quarters, I'm just going to cut straight up. Now, what that's done is, can you see where that's done a little impression? Yeah. That's perfect. That's your stitch line. Oh, OK. Because now you're going to join them both together. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if I get a pin, and I'll stitch it so you can see... If I pin that along there, right, and turn that, now you've got your gusset, uh, but in two pieces. Yep. Now do we get it? Now I get it. Oh, is that, if I only had done that without speaking, we'd have been all right. <laughs> but obviously, that's only a little piece, but if you were to do that really big piece, um, 
really all you're wanting is a piece about that big with a seam allowance and then you, you can, you're good to go. Okay. Um, and in actual fact, when I was with Sarah, that's exactly what we did so she could get a feel of how the dies worked and how you can adjust things to make it fit, well, the, the fabric that you've got. Mm -hmm. So what you would do normally is fold that in half. I would give it a little bit of a, a finger press. I wouldn't press it with an iron because you've still got to get those creases out and then fold it into quarters. Right. So this is, let's say, the proper way. <laughs> and then you would place the non-cut edge, just hook it over the top like that. Mm -hmm. And then, let's do it the right way around. And then all you're going to do is attach your die. So get your ends married up. And don't forget, the low-tack tape goes on the die and your waste fabric. Right, got you. So now, because I fold it into quarters, and that that folded piece is where all the four pieces of fabric meet, you're going to end up with one complete piece of gusset. Gotcha. So there's two different ways. It depends on how much fabric you've got. Um, you know, if you can afford to do a quarter of an inch seam allowance because you've only got a small piece, then that's what, that's what you can do. Mm -hmm. That gives you the options. So again, just that little snip there because I didn't hang it right over the edge. So even if, because we know that these dies, that cutting edge, goes right up to the edge. I'm going to try and hold it so you can see it. But if, if you don't get that right to the edge of the fold there, you've just got a little snippy to do. Mm -hmm. So just overhang it by about a mil. So that's the piece we just cut. So that's all one piece. Okay, brilliant. So if I was to get my, if I get my stitch machine up. So you've shown us how to do it with, you've got smaller pieces of fabric and if you've got larger pieces of fabric, it's just all in one. Now those scissors quickly, let me just show them to you because it may well be the last time you get to do them uh, for a while anyway. Um, you've got the rose gold handles, rose gold finish on the handles, which are lovely. They're limited stock now, limited stock for these. They are quality. Gorgeous stainless steel blades. They feel great in the hand. There's a good weight to them without being heavy. Um, but they are limited stock if you want them. And you saw with uh, Lizzie's demonstration just how accurate and precise they are for doing even the tiniest little cuts. You know when they're in your fingers, when your fingers are in the holes. They feel nice, don't they? They feel great. Mm. They really do. And, and I love it that they're slim. I, I, when I first saw them, I thought, oh, they're a bit different because I'm used to quite sort of chunky handles mm -hmm. where your thumb goes in a certain place and it could only go in that place. Actually, it makes me wonder if they're good for left-handed people as well, actually, be. because there's yeah. no... Sometimes you get a grip and your thumb mm. has to go into that grip, otherwise... I think they work for both. I'm wondering that. Yeah. I'd like some feedback on that, if that's possible. And also, um, they come in a box, so they're easy to wrap up if it is a gift for somebody oh, as well. Nice. But get them now. We don't know how long it's going to be before we get them back in, uh, if they sell out, which they're going to do. Um, 11 99 is a £3 saving off the price as well for being in the Freedom Club. So it's actually 20% off, isn't it, that? Not 10%. 20% discount for Freedom members. 11 99 delivered for brand new, fantastic dressmaker scissors. Now, the Gemini Stitch, the new machine that has only been out a couple of weeks. Um, lots of you have got this. Yeah. Um, now, there's actually, is it 33 stitches? 33 stitches. 33 Shall stitches. I turn it around so we can yeah, see? Yeah, Because um, we've got 33 stitches on there. And in actual fact, if you use the twin needle facility, you get 66, obviously. Right. Because I want to show you something. Along the top here is your single needle. And directly underneath that is your twin needle. What your twin needle will look like should you want to do twin needle stitching, which is really pretty. So all you need to do is select S2 or S1 for these sorts of stitches. If you just want to do your regular straight stitch, then you don't, you don't select a particular number. You just li you, it's the stitch length. That's mm -hmm. all you want to do, the stitch okay. length. Now, the stitch length is up here, but let's just talk it through. You've got the tension here. Now, the tension should be between three and four. So I've got mine just over three. So it's, when you get your machine, you can test that out. Then you've got the selector for the width. Now, you want to have the, see the little dot? That's just your straight stitching, OK? Mm -hmm. But if you were to change the stitch, like to a zigzag, then obviously you're going to move that whichever way you want it to go. And the little dot is always when you're doing straight. Going across here is your stitch length. Somewhere between two and three is absolutely perfect for your regular stitching. If you're stitching something with a lot of curves to it, like our scalloped bag, for mm -hmm. instance, maybe you want to sort of come down to two. Um, but normally between two and three is fine at two and a half. And then, of course, this is your stitch selector. So I make sure I try and do this the right way. So the S1 
you get these stitches that are in the S1 selection on the front of the machine. And then if you want to, the stitches on S2, you just literally just move that around to S2. Right. And then you're going to, the, the machine knows that the, it's got to do these ones. So no complicated computerized Nothing. screens to worry Nothing. about. It's, it's a manual machine, but a very, very good quality one. And it's also on a freedom discount. Now, this has only been out a couple of weeks. And it's $129.99. If you're a freedom <laughs> member, everything in our show is sewing related. It's going to have a freedom discount. Some 10%, some 20%, whatever. $116.99, you can have your brand new Gemini stitch. Uh, and it's on Flexi as well. It's on three Flexis of just £39. That's all you part with today. Really? No postage. It'll be delivered to your door what? without any PMP. <laughs> That's if you're a freedom member. £39 delivered. And then the same in four weeks, and the same in eight weeks' time. Otherwise, it's 43.33, but wow. it makes sense to join Freedom, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's got a reverse button as well, yep. so if you want to do a locking stitch, then it will do a locking stitch for you. Sometimes you don't need to, other times you just want to give that little bit of security. So you've got a little sort of bar here to the front, nice purple colour, um, so you can't miss it. Um, you've also got this thread cutter here, so you can yep. save on your threads and just use that thread cutter. It's also got a um, needle threader as well, should you require that. I mean, sometimes I don't even use that, but it's there if you need to. It's got a quick release foot there look you could just drops off and you can put the other feet on and then if you want to put it back on you just lower your um, presser foot and pick it up and um, it's got a cover for your feed dogs but I have to say generally speaking if you want to do free motion and ruler work you don't actually need to drop your feed dogs. Okay. No, you don't. Right. It's a bit of a fallacy. Well, it depends what your backing is. Right. If it's thick wadding and fleece, yeah, okay, fair enough, because it's going to catch on the feed dogs. But generally speaking, you can actually leave you can get away with it. alone. Okay. <laughs> and, and it's um, also got know, a little cabinet. I know the amount of research that the guys at Crafters Companion did to oh, make yes. sure that the machine <laughs> kind of exceeded your expectations for the price. I mean, uh, the one that I've got at home was about 160, and it hasn't got as many stitches and hasn't got as many features as this. Uh, 116 pounds for Freedom members is crazy, absolutely crazy. So if you like it, it's in stock now, 038327, and we'll deliver it to you door straight away without postage for just that first first flexi payment as well. Right, so if you remember, Dave, I cut this deliberately so we can see if you're short of fabric. I know this is the small version, appreciate that, but it's exactly the same as the larger version. By just putting that seam in there like that, then you're getting it exactly the same. And that's your lining. Mm. So, and to be honest, I, I, if it, that's going to be the bottom of the bag, in fact, could you pass me the bag, Dave? That little the teal one, the big teal the one. The big teal one, yeah. yeah. For big. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. So that seam would be here. So if you wanted to join those two pieces together, that's where the seam would be. Right. Well, to be honest, that's how your bag is going to look most of the time, surely. It's yeah. going to be sitting Who's on going to your... see the bottom? Well, exactly. So, and you can see in how big it is inside. It's incredibly roomy. I can get loads in there. Mm -hmm. And if you want to put straps on, the straps can be attached here if you want to. You could put sort of rings on there and put a chain on there if you want to. You could put a popper. You can use a button. You can put um, hook and loop on there. You can do the, the, the D-rings and have a sort of duffel, duffel mm -hmm. bag closure there. It's entirely up to you. But the thing is, what you're getting is a beautiful piece of well it's it's cr creativity isn't so, it so this piece here basically is that is piece this piece all the way around the, all edge. the way yeah. around yeah. now when it comes to stitching and let's, let's quickly do this um, I'll stick with the fabric from the fat quarters let's just give a little snip there so all you're going to do now this is my top tip okay <clears throat> what you're going to do give it a good press it's good to press it before you actually stitch it together because to get your iron in there especially because the little purse would be quite tricky but what you're going to do is this isn't a straight piece all right mm -hmm. but I'm going to call mm -hmm. it a straight piece this is your curvy piece all right so what you're going to do is stitch with the straight piece on the top Okay, right, yep. so what you're going to do is you're going to start here. Now I'm going to use, well, I think I'll use pins actually. Now you can pin it. I mean, probably I wouldn't. And probably what I'd do is find the halfway point mm -hmm. and bring those halfway points together. And if you haven't ironed this or pressed these fabrics, you can see the fold of what you, when you put it through the machine. Right. So those two fold lines are now perfectly lined up together. So what I will do then is that I would go round and you could even snip into this as you go. So you can just give it a little snip, no more than a quarter of an inch. As you go around a corner. Yes. So or bend. Do, yeah. So do that before you start to stitch. And then, if we can see, 
when we pop that down, that will just automatically go around that corner. No matter whether that's the small one that you're stitching or the big one you're stitching, that's how easy it is. Find your, get it lined up at the top, get it lined up in the middle, mm -hmm. ease it in, and then come round and do the other side. And that would then be your little purse made, and you would have the most exquisite little purse. And you it's the same principle for the large it. bag. I, Just, identical, mm. identical. And I'll be stitching them tomorrow, so you mustn't panic. I'll be doing some stitching tomorrow. Um, but it, we've made them so they're going to be great for you to easy for you to achieve but then you'll go on with your other ideas yeah. you know extending the bags folding the fabricly different putting those pleats in if you want to if you've got the smaller flap that you're putting on then pleat it you know this put darts in if you want to oh and there's another bag i mean think think about some of the fabrics the darts at the bottom think about some of the fabrics that you may have got from us in the past maybe glitter fabric for example oh, making yes. a bag like this out of glitter fabric for the party season would yeah. be fantastic or that sequin fabric could you use that of course you can yeah, you can stitch was, it and cut yeah. it. it it cuts on the dart on the, with a gemini right yeah no problem at all so the one day special is either the envelope version or the dome version of the bag dies or the best option really if you can run to it is to go for the complete which gives you both you get both one day special reductions and you also get your freedom discount on top of that as well and it is on flexi too so yeah whichever you want to go for or whatever option you want to go for they're all in stock at the moment but the stocks are selling fast of everything fat quarters are going well uh, the scissors are limited stock they may even be a sellout before um, tomorrow morning uh, here they are we want to remind you of them. Yeah, there we are. That's how they come <laughs> in a beautiful box with Sarah on the front as well. They're a 3.9 inch blade. I don't think they're going to be here at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. We've got some repeat shows. This will be repeated at midnight and at 6 a.m. this show um, and at 3 a.m. as well. So by the time those shows have been uh, played out, the chances are these aren't going to be available. So if they're not available, I do apologize. Very busy for them. You get 20% discount as well. They should be um, 14 99 Yeah, they're 11 99 if you're a Freedom member and they are quality. They really are very good quality. Also, some of the multimedia dies as well. Let's remind you of those. I've got handed these, actually. 80% of these is gone. So if you're looking for uh, using them for fabric or um, yeah, any of the fabrics we've got on the yes. show today, these will work on beautifully. Felt, that sort of thing as well. Uh, they don't have cutting edges at the end. They've got cutting edges top and bottom. So you can make the rickrack or the wave or whatever you're doing as long as you wish. Same goes for these two. Cutting edges top and bottom, but not on the end. So you can easily do uh, repeats, OK? £13.48 for those. And they... That's a really good price, actually, because normally multimedia dies are a little bit more expensive than the standard thin dies, mm. but that isn't. It's fourteen ninety eight for all of them. They are, they are great, great value. So look, <coughs> if I, look now, this this fabric has been stabilised with our fabric stabiliser, yep. so it's like cardboard and it's not going to fray, which means if that you use one of these little multimedia dies, mm -hmm. it's perfect for applique work onto something, you know, whether it's a bag or a pillowcase or whatever it is you want to do. So look, all I've done is and I, I never iron right so if once you stabilized your fabric and please get some of this because it really is super um, it's great for making flowers with as well oh like yes yeah. and they're okay. coming up with the weekend aren't yes they, they are so. We've got lots of samples <laughs> around <laughs> and about. Anyway, um, so <laughs> I quite, I quite. If you iron this fabric when it's had the stabilizer on, it goes really, really soft again. Mm -hmm. But when it cools down, it goes, it goes, has its rigidity again. All right. right? So yep. look, all I'm going to do is pop that on there. So I've got kind of like three layers. It was just a spare piece that I had. So look, all I'm going to do is put a little bit of tape on there just to hold it. We'll just sort of do it like this. And don't forget. It's on the die and on your waist. I know that's a bit wasteful, but there we are. And because I've stabilised it, first of all, it will cut absolutely beautifully, but also it won't fray. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wash it, it'll revert back to regular fabric. So it's worth remembering that. It's right. worth remembering that. Okay. Now, I don't think, I don't, do you know what? I can't remember if I lined that up properly or not, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> I don't think I've got quite the gaps I wanted, but <laughs> but it will show it will show them off, which is just exactly what we want to do. Okay. So, think think about this: is that this could be your paper stock as well? So look, let's have a look. See how see how badly I've done, Dave. So there we are. I've got faith. Oh, foolish boy! <laughs> so <laughs> let me just get my lovely scissors again. So that so I didn't put the fold or the um, the line of the die right up to the fold because oh, I wasn't really thinking I was just doing and then just 
snip that a little bit there. Let's turn it around. So you can see already what I've cut. Mm -hmm. I just needed to do a better job, really. Anyway, so look, there we are. Oh, look. So that's extended that straight away. Now that is now good enough to put onto the front of a bag mm -hmm. or, or a cushion, or I may, you know, I might want to sort of um, top stitch it. And because I've stabilised it with that fabric stabiliser, it's not going to fall apart like regular fabric. How many layers could that go through? You went well, through eight, three then. Eight didn't you? to ten. Eight to ten. Yeah, depends. Wow. It depends what you're cutting. If it's the faux leather, maybe. Let's say three layers. Let's say we're on the side of caution. Let's say three layers of faux leather. Um, felt, three or four layers maybe. Wow. Um, quilting fabric, at least eight to ten. Um, so you can, you can make a ribbon strip as long as you want. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can just, I would just do a running stitch or a zigzag stitch all the way along. Oh, my goodness, if you wanted a satin stitch, good luck. But um, I would just do a running stitch right down the centre of that and attach it to, to whatever I'm going to make. And remember, for just 14 98 or 13 48 if you're a Freedom member, you're going to get all these wonderful wavy dies. Uh, you're going to get the fan, you're going to get this pattern, and you're going to get the hearts as well. So, yeah, potentially... Yeah, think about there how much time and also how much this is going to save you. Uh, because yeah, to buy to buy trim and, and, and yeah. ribbon and braid like that is not cheap. To make your own out of scraps. It, I'm going to say you're you're going to be using scraps. All those scraps that I've put in my bin down there, ready to, to throw away. Actually, I shouldn't because all of those dies will cut beautifully and give me little pieces to put on things. Okay. So yeah, it's a great stash buster. Well, remember this show is going to be repeated through the night. Don't forget, whatever you do, that every time you buy something from us during this event, which is a week-long event that launched today, you'll automatically go into the draw to be in with a chance of winning this. One of you will win this bumper bundle worth £763.24. You don't have to do anything other than buy something from one of our shows, one of our fantastic sewing shows. The sewing shows only will put you into the draw for this, uh, and there are lots of them between now and this time next week, okay? We've got Don Bibby, we've got Six Penny Memories, Rodine as well, Rodine's there. Um, craft Yourself Silly, we've got some uh, shows with uh, Hayley in the next couple of days, Sarah Signature again, Build a Block from Gemini, anything, any of those shows, um, well, any of those items that you can see that are in the bundle, worth £763.24, OK? OK, now the one-day special, uh, you've got a choice of either the envelope version or the dome version of these dies. They're dies that will cut bags brilliantly. You get a large and you get the small. So you get basically the bag and the purse. You can see them in green faux leather here. That's the envelope. And then this one, if you prefer the curved lip, that is the dome, which you can see... Where's the dome gone? I just gave it to you, Dave. Oh, did you? Yeah, Where have I put it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I put it down, didn't remember where I put it. There we are, there it is. So there's the large dome and there's the small little dome purse, which is really cute. That one is in the lead, OK? twenty-six ninety-eight is your price for the one-day special with, of course, the Freedom discount applied. Most of you, though, are going for both because you like the look of them. And you can mix and match the dies together as well. Uh, so that flap will work well on the envelope bag and vice versa. Yes, so you can play around together. with them. And the purses do as well. Right. Because they're all um, been made... What's the word? Um, the same width. Yeah. 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 Proportionally. Yeah. They've been made proportionally correct. Well, not symmetrical, but yeah, the same size. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So 5120, <laughs> it's been a long day. 5126 <laughs> is your freedom prize, and that's also on Flexi. So if you want the two one day specials together on Flexi, that comes out to 25.63. That's all you pay today, and 25.63 in four weeks' time. Approaching 60% of the entire day stock. And we're not on Freeview in this hour either, but it's been a busy show. Mm. We're back on Freeview in the morning, so expect 9 a.m. to be very, very, very busy. Certain things aren't going to last a day. That's obvious. No. And the actual thing, actually, can I show you this? This is the this is the, the dome bag. So if I take my flower arrangement out of there, which of course you know won't happen, will it? Because I want it to come out. Easier said than done. Right, just one moment. Hold on. <laughs> it's all coming out. There we go. Get rid of that, Dave. Right. That's it. But look, that is the exactly the same bag, the dome clutch bag, yep. but without the flap. And it's been made with really stiff fabric. Hasn't it? Yeah, it's a real good stiffener it's like in a there. Canvas, isn't and it? it's almost like you could put a plant pot in there. Yeah, you could. Um, and the flow flow of flowers are coming up at the weekend and just loops with knots in has given me the, the the handles for this bag so actually lots of different ways lizzie's back at 9 a.m i'll be back at 7 a.m for craft price drop so i hope to see you then uh, watch out for the show and repeat through the night as well lots more to look forward to this evening thanks for watching thank you